Right now we've got Sean Murtaugh. He is a CNN producer on the telephone right now. Sean, what can you tell us about what you know? This is uh, Sean Murtaugh. I just was uh, standing on the uh, uh, vice president of finance. Sean. Vice president of finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What, what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, yeah, Sean, you're on the air yeah, right yeah. now. Uh, can, what can, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly lower than normal at altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into, uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Sean, what kind of plane? Was it a small plane, a, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. Uh, looked like a two-engine jet, um, maybe a 737. You're talking about a large passenger commercial jet. A large jet. passenger commercial jet. As we have it one eyewitness who was close to the scene when the accident happened he said that a plane he described it as a small plane hit the top of one of those towers 107 floors high they are it was a small commuter You're just plane. joining us here at sky um, center again, you can see early, these uh, pictures live from our colleagues in new york a plane has hit the, the side the of one of the twin towers this happened at about 8.45 this morning while we were on the air. It first broke. It's now uh, some three hours and a few minutes later. Let's go back to that moment when we were on the air and the first crash took place. <laughs> what the hell was that? It sounded like a plane crash. Ali, you would have to assume uh, a very, very terrible situation if that indeed is the case, because I'm sure uh, there were people, there were people up there in that, uh, there were people up there in that uh, World Trade Center. Now we have lost again. Our transmitter is on top of the World Trade Center, so we apparently uh, have consequently lost contact with Dick Oliver. But we are on the on the phone with an eyewitness, uh, Rosa. Can you hear me? Is Rosa there? Hello? Rosa? Yes. Uh, this is Jim Ryan here in the studio. Hi. Uh, what is your last name, please? Cardona Rivera. Okay. All right, again, uh, you're looking at pictures now. We uh, understand from a CNN vice president, Sean Murtaugh, who was an eyewitness to this. We believe a commercial jet has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. And you can see the smoke billowing out there, are flames billowing out there, and uh, a commercial jet crashing into one of these towers. At this point, we do not have official injury uh, updates to bring you. But we are only uh, now beginning to put the, together the pieces of this uh, horrible incident. Right. Just a few seconds ago, we were tuning in to uh, one of our affiliates in New York, uh WNYW. Right now, we want to go to an eyewitness on the telephone right now. Jean, what can you tell us about what you saw? Uh, I can tell you that I was watching TV, and there was this uh, sonic boom, and the TV went out, and I thought maybe that the Concorde was back in service, because uh, I've heard about those sonic booms. And I got up to my window. I live in Battery Park City, right next to the Twin Towers. 
and I looked up and the side of the World Trade Center exploded right when I looked up and uh, at that point debris started falling. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Can you hear anything from your position right now? Ambulances, sirens? Absolutely, positively. There are crowds of people downstairs in Battery Park City. Everybody's come out from the buildings. This is the financial area in Wall you know, in uh, Manhattan and there's a lot of fire engines. Uh, I can see them from my window. Jean, can you tell us, uh, I don't know if you can tell which tower it is uh, that's on fire right now or, or the kinds of services that are inside that tower? I I can't tell what's inside. Uh, it's the northern tower uh, versus the southern tower, and it seems to be on all sides of the building, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, the uh, west side, the south side, and it looks like folks coming from the east side as well. Gee, can you see any of the debris currently on the ground area? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it, it's continuing to kind of flutter down like leaflets. And uh, at first there was just tons of debris, and it continues to fall out. And uh, it looks like these uppermost floors uh, are definitely on fire. Mm. Can you see any actual uh, people in that area who may have, been, uh, may have been hit by any of this debris or were not able to get out of the way? Can you see any crowds that may be too close to where they should be? Anything like that? No, I don't think so. And uh, it's not a highly trafficked area mm -hmm. at the base of the World Trade Center. So that's one fortunate thing. Jane, right now we're continuing to look at uh, pictures of this devastating scene. According to Sean Murtaugh, Vice President of Finance, he witnessed what he described as a twin-engine plane, possibly a 737. He was almost absolutely sure that it was a large passenger jet that, that went into that plane. Jean, you're saying that you didn't see anything initially. You didn't see a plane actually approach the building. I had no idea it was a plane. I just, uh, I just saw the entire uh, top part of the World Trade Center explode. So uh, I turned on the TV when I heard they said it was a plane. Right. It was really strange. Were you there living in New York during the World Trade Center bombing? No, I wasn't. Fortunately so. When you say a sonic boom, did you actually feel anything? Were things shaking in your apartment? Uh, it, it, you know, yeah, you could feel it. It was just a gigantic sonic boom. The TV nearly, it, it went off for a second and then it went back on. And the windows you know, you felt the vibrations on the windows.